Hi, this is Walton Guerrero. And I want to give you a few tips and ideas that will hopefully save you time and um, headaches and hassle. Okay, when dealing with the uh, fabric remote keys for the vehicle. Here we have two new fabric remotes. Okay, these are the uh, latest generation. It has the uh, what we call the flat back. Okay, and um, they actually work great. The um, only thing that we've seen is after maybe a few years, the remote will stop working from uh, locking and unlocking the doors. And it has to do mainly because of the same reason the original fabric remotes uh, stopped working and broke. Okay, it's because when you insert it into the uh, wind module, okay, and you turn the ignition to the run position, the actual circuit board, okay, it's so thin that it starts bending, and then you do uh, basically hair crack, cracks, you know, and or desoldering some of the components. Um, and of course, rendering the uh, unit useless, okay? So my advice for many years already has been to go ahead and use it like this, okay? You have the uh, emergency or valet key and your fabric remote. So you start it every day with this key, okay? And ideally, don't have anything else that's gonna have so much weight, okay? and then you use this for the remote. Now the advantage is that, God forbid, in the event that something ever happens to the key that it stops working, which is kind of rare, um, or there's a question as to whether the key is working or not, you still have your, uh, your fabric remote that you can actually insert to start the vehicle, okay? But again, the idea is not to use it as an everyday key, only use it as a remote, so that way you prolong the life of the uh, fabric remote, and you're not left stranded somewhere because you only have the fabric remote with you, and now it, doesn't, it broke and it doesn't want to let you start the vehicle, and you have no other key, maybe you have it at home, if, you know, half an hour, an hour away, or maybe you're traveling in another city or state. So with this, you have two working keys at all times, but you're gonna use this one as your uh, primary everyday key. And then this one, you just use it as a remote, okay? And here's your backup set, uh, same thing. Now, if you notice, I put uh, three rings on it, kind of creating a chain, okay? And the idea for that is that when you put it in your pocket or you throw it in your purse, um, you're not putting force to where the key ring goes and that can cause, you know, the uh, plastic to break or the um, plastic to come apart. So again, it's just uh, money saving tips uh, based on experience of seen for so many years uh, people abuse or mishandle their remotes, their keys, and causing uh, unnecessary uh, damage to them, which in turn uh, causes um, customers to take their vehicles to the dealer, mechanics, and all you really needed was to have a couple of good backup keys to be able to drive and start the car. Okay, any questions, uh, just send me a text or an email. Thanks for watching.